At the end of the 19th century and early in the 20th century, a well-rounded education included an extended tour of Europe. It was intended to expose both the young and the old to the culture, to the art, and to the architecture of the continent, and it instilled the desire to recreate these splendid homes upon their return to America. The Grand Tour, as it was known, serves as the reference point for the door saddle in this kitchen as well as for many of the design elements. The warm, rich tones of the fireside with black glaze finish enhance the cherry wood grain and the molded details of the doors. The carved accents, the ceiling beams, and the clear story windows provide a layer of elegance to this graciously proportioned space which blends details from a number of countries. Frame panels of a herringbone pattern veneer suggest the exotic inlays of fine furniture. The angered corners with their carved corbels on the French base cabinet at the end of the peninsula help to reinforce the effect. The island is really a work table. The lines of the classic arch drawers are carried around the ends of the table and the fluted classic columns. A fluted anchor ball trim piece adds an extra touch, while the shelf at the bottom of the island incorporates the classic balance. Woodmode's new mantle hood becomes even more impressive with the addition of the carved corbels, the open scroll work, and the fluting. The paneled upper section, combined with the arch niche above it, recalls a classic hearth, which was the traditional center of cooking activities and family togetherness. Split panel doors tie the wall units to the pantry tower and the refrigerator. This narrow, tall, pull-out pantry helps to organize and keep supplies close at hand. The French base unit, with its plantation toe kick balance and the carved corbels, provide a graceful transition to the rest of the kitchen. Pilaster panels frame the wall cabinets, while a custom arch balance conceals the task lighting. Open display storage is provided by the dish cabinet and a pair of pilaster panels frame the rope molding to create the new pilaster column. With this column, a number of molded, termed, or carved pieces can be inserted to further develop furniture and architectural details. Among the specialty cabinets included in this kitchen are a mixer cabinet that brings the mixer from a stored position to the working height. Corners no longer have to be hard to get at or out of reach with this corner unit. Its two independently operating pull-out shelves bring the contents to you. Double trash storage allows for the separation of recyclable items. Spices fit neatly into very little space with this pull-out spice column. Heavy crown moldings, fluted columns, and carved capitals in the open china unit pay tribute to historic pieces. The vintage toffee finish subtly reinforces the antique qualities of the sideboard, at the same time complementing the deeper wood tones of the kitchen. A reflection of many of Europe's architectural styles, this kitchen is a grand but comfortable place to call home.